I am Lucy. And the one behind the camera, that's me, Bart. And Lucy and me, we are here in the Philippines. And to be exactly, in Cebu. And there is a little island along the west coast of Cebu called Pescador. And today, I'd like to introduce you into this little beauty along the island of Cebu. Oh, I found already something. The main attraction here in Pescador Island is the big school of sardines. Ooh, there it is. Most people call it sardines. Some people also say it's actually anchovies. And it's so many of them would never be able to count. When you get there first time, it's so amazing and makes you completely feel disorientated because this school of fish contains so many of them that they can entirely surround you. And then you have no idea where it's up or down, left or right. Only sometimes they open a gap and you can see the sky. The Philippines are in the Coral Triangle and contain as one of the biggest biodiversities in the underwater world. Here in the Coral Triangle, estimated number of more than 2,500 different kind of fishes and around 500 different kind of corals. Alone on this little island around Pescador, you can find many, many different species. Different species of frog fishes, pipe fishes, sea dragons, sea horses, and, and, and. The most amazing thing still is the so-called sardine run. And it seems as if these sardines are in an unlimited number, but actually they are under a big threat. Every now and then, fishermen from many different places all over Asia come catch them, some even at night. Now, at this time when the video is being edited, there is actually no sardines left on South and Scudder Island. Some people think they've been caught or used for food, and others think they just migrated somewhere else and hopefully will come back. Another really big threat for Pescador Island is the huge amount of scuba divers. Loads of air bubbles go to all the caves, cracks, crevasses, and many, many divers use the underwater world as a playground, not only to watch and to just leave bubbles, but also to touch, to break, to hang, to interact, and some even to go fishing with scuba gear.
earlier days, along with this spectacular sardine run, we were able to see treasure sharks, sometimes whale sharks, sometimes manta rays, but these days are gone and might not come back again. Scuba divers all over the world come to Pescador Island. People from Europe, people from the United States, people from Australia, New Zealand, and of course many many people also from Asia. And very many of them use this age part of the island as their landing strip to lay, step, stand and hang on these poles. And this year used to be very pristine coral garden but it got destroyed by tidal waves and of course thousands of scuba divers who visit this tiny island year by year. And we both did not like we saw them.
them just their stuff run more for to let them know how precious these creatures are and how badly we need them. Make sure you cannot only see them on video in the future. Also you as a scuba diver, make sure you only leave bubbles and nothing else. This place used to be one of the only places all over the coral triangle where you can see sobbing schools like that. Let's hope we will see them for a long long time. Be a responsible diver. And join the green things. Project now. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to other videos from Frank Tank. Bye bye. Ain't no sunshine when he's gone, gone, gone. It's not warm when he's away. Ain't no sunshine when he's gone. And his wings gone to long, long, long. Wonder this time where he's gone. I know, I know, I know.